गुड इवनिंग आई एम डॉक्टर धर्मेश बलानिया थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट एंड श्री एम पी सा मेडिकल कॉलेज जामनगर माय टाइटल ऑफ लेक्चर इज टू स्टडी फोकल मैंडिबुलर विजन यूजिंग सीटी स्कैन एंड एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माय स्टडी टू कोरिलेट सीटी एंड वायरस विद फाइंडिंग एंड यू स्टडी द रोल ऑफ सीटी इन योर रिसर्च ऑफ फोकल मैंडिबुलर विजन टू स्टडी वेरियस सीटी फाइंडिंग इन पेशेंट विद फोकल मैंडिबुलर विजन no in non traumatic vision and to classify mandibular vision depend on ct appearance material and method a retrospective study of patient with mandibular vision was done using 60 60 slides uh mdct scanners in our department sample size calculated on basis of prevalence of focal mandibular vision in regional population came out of 45 result of this study analyzed and compared with biopsy finding and others available study in literature result and discussion of my study in the study of 45 patient out of 31 patient which is followed by biopsy finding ct scan able to predict the diagnosis of 27 cases while the four cases diagnosed predicted by the ct scan came out different from biopsy where 40 cases the uh, 40 cases including four cases of periapical cyst three cases of red radicular cyst two cases so oh, positive in fibroma and two cases of multiple myeloma did not of for bias few of this representative case are discussed in detail as below the first case of 35 year old female is swelling in left mandibular region since 10 6 month on ct finding a well defined focal expansion lesion is noted in a alveolar arch of the mandible on left side at the level of canine and premolar region Vision shows heterogeneous density and mineralization. Expansion of the medial cavity with thinning of cortex and multiple break. No evidence of loosening of teeth. Our conclusion of this case is animal animal blastoma. Second case, thirty thirty three year old male. Ah, CT finding shows large irregular expansion of vision. In the opening of the eye, the body. the medieval process is involving regular process in the early and reverse of many many different this is an expansion expansion of the whole like cortex with erosion of inner and outer cortex this is related to multiple pathological factors the ct finding suggests to locate the cyst origin cyst origin of the cyst of third case so for 14 year male there is a pain and swelling of the whole medial region उंटेड A fourth case, 35-year-old male patient presented with pain, swelling uh, on cheek. Uh, on CT findings, uh, so large, well-defined focal expansion lesion on alveolar process of body of mandible on left side at the level of second and third molar teeth. The region shows heterogeneous density compared to the ground glass examination and mineral examination with ossification. Which is a high density. The expansion of medial cavity with thinning of cortex and multiple cortical breaks. Break. Break. No evidence of extra osteoarthritis of tissue involvement for lesioning of the teeth. CT finding correlated benign fibrosis region, so likely osteoarthritis fibroma. Our last week case, 53 year old female. Our uh, CT finding showed large radiolus and lesion involving. The lower part of the body of mandible predominantly left side, uh, reaching up to midline. Expansion of expansion of the mandible cavity and resorption of the root of the adjacent teeth. Lesions of multiple bony septa throughout the region, and thinning of overlying cortex with erosion, suggestive of central giant and granuloma. A 49-year-old male patient CT findings shows expansion of lytic lesion. In only gremas and body of mandible, as well as coronal process on right side, reaching up to meta infiltrated edges and medial and left uh, medial pericardial muscle and mesenteric muscle. Multiple erosion of the mandible is noted. 
conclude your mail in the name of the blessed woman. Ah, be eleven years male, old male, patient with uh, right mandibular swelling. Well defined human vision. Uh, Involving no in the heart, heart from the body, mandible on the right side. With no evidence of uh, cortical erosion of sclerosis. Crown of irregular uh, tooth. First molar. Crown of irregular first molar tooth projecting into the lesion. Pericardiomic pore. Pericardial dentition. Here is the lesion. Is depend uh, is for the CT finding and uh, is the biopsy of the patient. Then finding is good. Distribution of case according to CT and biopsy. How about thirty-one patient are uh, operated for biopsy? Twenty-seven patient match with the CT finding uh, and four patient mismatch with CT finding on biopsy. Uh, distribution of case. Now, uh, on four cases of uh, diagnosed malignant on CT, he also diagnosed uh, malignant on his uh, biopsy, and 23 patients diagnosed benign on CT. Out of which 22 patients were diagnosed as uh, benign in biopsy. Here is the distribution: multi-system hemoglobin was most common. Lesion is found in our study. Our most common CT appearance, multi-localized lytic lesion with cortical erosion. In, uh, in our study, it uh, also helpful in evaluation of teeth, root absorption or erosion. The whole microbial of the cell extensive to the root absorption. Two cases of CT appearance suggest your femoral obstruction is turned out to be KCOT, keratogenic KCOT on biopsy. Keratosis KCOT uh, formally based on Odontogenic keratosis, but recently was categorized as odontogenic tumor rather than the cyst. Most cases in our study have aggressive radiological appearance with cortical extension, perforation or break in cortical growth, and uh, resorption of tooth. In our study, one case is with feature with KCOT on CT, which on biopsy turned out to be malignant amyloblastoma. It is sometimes difficult to differentiate between an amyloblastoma. डायग्नोसिसमेजिंग For treatment, we can. Radiologically, a dentigerous cyst appear well circumscribed in the local radiological region, adjacent to crown of unerupted tooth, most commonly just uh, a th uh, third molar tooth. In our study, out of seven patients, six patients were associated with third molar tooth. Rest one patient of dentigerous cyst, which later a typical finding to the dentigerous cyst by opted for biopsy, which turned out to be. Hemolo blast from a unicystic, but this is a benign type. In our study, for the diagnosis with osteomyelitis, where was the chronic osteomyelitis, it shows mixed lytic and sclerotic lesion with sequestration. All cases were noted in body of mandible. In all osteomyelitis of the jaw, most commonly involving body of mandible. Odent trauma is the most common odontogenic tumor of mandible, forming between the root of the teeth. The tumor is missed. The resolution the later becomes very opaque mass with vision uh, dim. Uh, it's easy to diagnose on X-ray or PG or personally less patient report for such a probable diagnosis. One of the case of central blastoma is typical where something has radiopaque mass associated with root of the teeth. However, expected peri other vision dim was not seen. Has it diagnosed the odent trauma on CT? There is one case of fibrous dysplasia which shows characteristic of ground ground glass uh, ground glass bone density on CT, and other case uh, which uh, given fibrous dysplasia on CT will turn out to be osseous fibroma. We came across two cases of osseous sarcoma findable in this study, uh, and CT fish uh, CT feature features so aggressive destruction of bone with periosteal reaction and soft tissue mass. With mild contrast enhancement in malignant in malignant uh, malignancy of mandible CT image, image commonly includes surrounding soft tissue with mild contrast enhancement and bony destruction. 
conclusion of the study uh, in the study it was found that ct play important role in that pressure uh, diagnosis grading it and then guided treatment decision being far superior to conventional radiography of mandible in all term except the post and when the metal prosthetic induced article the probability of different like different city and degrees in diagnosis of uh, mandible mandible region so fish expense uh, in all spectral defects detected by ct scan ct mandible may be useful for knowing the open region in the rest of the mandible which cannot be detected on radiograph or opg the mandible diagnosis of mandible pathology by ct correlates well with uh, biopsy diagnosis ct often allow differentiation of benign lesion or cyst with from the malignant lesion thus the avoiding bias bias in some cases we usually assess the to establish the final diagnosis this is the reference and thank you so much